In this video, we'll look at how to sketch a line of best fit. So what we're doing here is not the equation kind of line of best fit, we're just drawing a sketch. I'm actually going to draw a graph first. But we're not going to use a formula to do line of best fit, though such formulas exist. There's more than one kind. We're just going to worry about drawing a sketch and approximating. So first thing I need to do is label. Normally there's a label like height versus time. Here they're just called X and Y, so I'll label those. And now I gotta make nice even ticks. Can use the inches side or the centimeter side. Doesn't really matter. There's my ticks. I'll do that on the vertical as well. So I'm just preparing my graph. The line of best fit hasn't started yet. Right now it's just make the line of best fit. Okay on the x-axis, that's the independent and the horizontal axis here, I need to go from 0 to 20. So let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20, not bad, but I could use these ticks if I go by 4, I think. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. So let's go like that, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, and this will be 24. And then the y's go up to 52, so 5, 10, 15, 20, no dice, that's not going to work. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, I'll just make it. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And if this were a word problem, like height versus time, make sure to put a title, height versus time, and label height here, label time here. But right now we're just looking to get to sketch this line of best fit. So I'm going to put my points, so X's go out 3, Go up 14, that's about there. And the next one is x7, y of 20, that's about there. And then x11, y of 35, that's up about there. And then x of 14, y of 39, that's about there. And finally, x of 19, y of 52, that's about there. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm sure I'm off a little bit because I'm not using a ruler to put my points, and that's okay. If I say not sketch but graph, make sure to use nice grid, make it look good. Okay, let's look at how to sketch this line of best fit. First of all, the rules. One, I'll just abbreviate them. This one's called above and below, should be approximately the same. You should have approximately the same number of dots above and below. So you could have like two above, three below, but not like one above, four below. Rule one, same above and below. Rule number two, your line of best fit should go in the direction of the points. So clearly when you look at the dots I've drawn, this graph, it clearly goes up to the right. Your line better go up to the right. Third rule, it should be as close to the points as possible. So, as close as you can, try to fit them, the line of best fit, as close to the points. And the line of best fit has one more rule, which is you can, but you don't have to, go through points. So, same amount above and below, approximately, go in the direction of the points, as close to the points as possible, and you're allowed to, but you don't have to, go through the points. So, for example, if you didn't have the same above and below, you would draw something like that, no good, one above, four below, in the direction of the points, so obviously don't go like this, that would be bad, close to the points, so even if you're going the right way, if you're way out here, no good. And lastly, I can, but I don't have to go through points. Okay, sometimes I take my ruler and I put it like this so I can see points on both sides to kind of get a feel. And note too, you do not and likely won't go through zero, zero. My goal is same number above and below, go in the direction of the points. It takes a little bit of careful maneuvering, get as close to the points as possible. Looks like I still got one above. That looks good. And there's more than one right answer. Some people might go through both those dots. I think I like it right here. I think it's going to go th through this one and then have... No, I don't like that as much. I'm changing my mind. 
Just getting a good feel for it. I think this is good, but I'm going to draw it light at first so I can erase easier. Looks like I might go through three points. I'm very close. Let's try that. Wow. That has a nice line of best fit. So now that I feel like it's good, I'm going to shade it in a little better and get my ruler back to where it was. Draw a nice solid line of best fit. And don't forget the arrow on the end. It doesn't go past here if it starts at if it starts with a word problem you wouldn't go past here so I'll leave that with no arrow but definitely an arrow here so check me out let's check my rules same number above and below yeah one above one below that's nice it's rare usually you get a lot more above and below I'm going in the direction of the points clearly I'm as close to the points as possible and I managed to though I didn't have to go through points so that's it I've sketched a line of best fit